All right, boys, we're gonna batch you out with a batch 41. Are you batching it? Or are you married? Or she's out of town and you're batching it? How about this batch? Batch 41 of knives. And we are gonna find the liars and the truth tellers alike when we get the XRF analyzer gun pointing at them. And, uh, or you can call it the PMI gun. And son of a gun, we're gonna have some fun. This is a group, oh man, what do we got, 13? God, don't tell me you got lucky 13. I don't know, in any case, this is a group and then I've got another batch that's already ready to be reported on and I've got another batch sent in for testing. So as long as I can latch on to a metallurgy guy that's got the gun, we are gonna keep going on the run. And uh, this is always interesting. Like, you don't want to do spider coat knives. You don't want to do hinder knives. You don't want to do that shit. I mean, that's obviously, you're not going to catch anybody lying there and you're wasting your time. But I don't know, petrified fish, sativian, six leaf, uh, you know, what do we got? Oh yeah, sativian, free tiger, even growl. Come on, man, CTS smart. CTS Mart. No, not Walmart. CTS Mart. Okay, so let's get going on this batch. You want to see it? And I will post the information down below. And then at the end of this thing, I'll hold up the whole summary sheet so you could, you know, screenshot it and keep it for your records. Because, you know, people keep coming back to me going, have you ever tested like a Sativian knife? Oh, jeez, dude. I've had it posted for five months. Okay. Uh, it's always crazy. Now, we're gonna talk about the CMB Prowler. Prowler? The CMB Prowler, check it out. This is a Jelly Jerry design. If you don't know who Jelly Jerry is, wow, you gotta just, wow, you need to wake up, dude. I mean, he's done a billion Tucson knives and some others for other, uh, uh, I think Cansep, maybe Kaiser, uh, Kubi, everything that starts with a K. And uh, this says M390, and these knives weren't cheap, okay? They ain't cheap. And uh, so I sent it off to test it. Yeah, you never know, you never know, right? So is it for real, for real? Bang, read them and weep, boys. CMB, yes, M390, absolutely. And there's the vanadium level, which is about 4%. Chromium's usually 19 to 20% on uh, M390. And what does this say? Yeah, it says, yeah, absolutely. Okay, next. What is next? How about the little CJRB RIA? And this is the AR. RPM9, which is like a glorified, well, it's a powder metallurgy 9CR18 steel. And I think it works really well. I like it. And it's a full stainless. Now, is it real? Okay, well, let's see. Uh, yes, it is. But this one, I mean, 9CR18 means 18% chromium and so should it be 18 percent chromium yeah but it's a little lower than that on the chromium scale so not that you need a lot of chromium in a knife necessarily to be a good blade uh that nah, varies uh, but uh, there's your vanadium chromium all the other and uh this is this is right it's just uh, the chromium can vary a little bit but really interesting uh, you know, steel that they have as a pro proprietary steel for CJRB, that it's a powder metallurgy and all that. So this is good. We'll try and keep blades from knocking together here as we go. Oh, CTS Mart. Uh, this never, I don't even know. I don't think I ever had a box for this. It's weird. Where did I get this knife? I can't remember now. I think I got it on Amazon. And somebody told me about it and said, it's a monster. And it is. It's a monster, monster ass knife. And I, you know what? I don't remember. 
But I kept thinking that the ad for it, because it doesn't say it on the blade, it said D2. It said this blade was D2. I could be mistaken, so in, if I am, I apologize. But I kept thinking this was supposed to be D2. Now, is it D2? Negatory on that, good buddy. It's a 8CR14 MOV, and you can tell uh, on here. I mean, you look at the chromium D2, it's like 11 point something up to like 12% chromium. This is closer to 14, if you know what I mean, 8CR14. So, yeah, this is, uh, if you're going to call it something, call it 8CR14, not D2. Okay? So, eh. Now, that was a miss. Now, let's talk about Efengrau. Have we talked about Efengrau a little bit? And this is the EF-964. Okay, so many, many times I've done, I've done batch tests and the Efengrau knives were like zero for eight. Okay, they were not D2, blah, blah, blah. Then, I mean, this must be a year and a half ago, the owner of Ethan Grau said, wow, um, I have changed manufacturers because I didn't realize that my knives were not as stated. I don't know if he's trying to pawn it off on somebody else or whatever. You need to be responsible for your own stuff. But he sent me a group of knives saying, we all got it changed up. We're all right now. And they all tested as D2. But then, you know, a guy asked, well, those were sent to you, okay? How do we know what we're buying on, you know, Amazon? So I bought some knives, and I bought like four knives or five knives, and like two were D2 and three were not. And I go, eh, probably the non-D2 still working through the system. So I waited another three or four months and bought another group of even ground knives. So long story short, here's D2 on this one. And I bought some that I thought were kind of a nice looking design, you know what I'm saying? So I was just curious, how is that working out? And on this one, yes, it's D2, it's real D2. Um, there's your vanadium level, which is not bad for, uh, you know, D2. It can be, I've seen it like 0.3 something, but 0.7, not bad. Uh, there's your chromium, 12, you know. So yeah, it's a uh, typical D2. And so that one is real. I'm going to have more even ground knives on batch 42. Stay tuned. Okay. Now this one I like this free tiger knife. I got this on Amazon as well, I think. And um, I know I got a group of them off of AliExpress at one point in time too. So I can't for sure, but I think I got this on Amazon. And supposedly it's D2. It's the FT908. I like the I like the shape of it. And the first free tiger knife I got was, I can't remember the model name, but it was way cool. And others were talking about it too. And man, that drops, doesn't it? Okay, so is this for real for real? And yes, it is. Interesting though, the first one I ever bought was, and it did test as D2, but the second one with the Free Tiger name on it was just like a little thin steel handled uh, model, and it did not test as D2, even though it said it was. Um, and we will have more Free Tiger in the next batch, so stay tuned for that. But this one, yes, uh, you know, 12% chromium, and all that so and then there's your vanadium pretty much hanging around uh, you know 0.7 and it can run i mean the vanadium can vary a lot on on d2 depending so there it is free tiger yeah it's d2 don't know about the heat treat don't know about the rockwells on any of these so do i know what the cutting performance would be like no okay i'm just telling you is the steel as advertised? Yes or no? Okay, next we've got uh, crystal knives. And this is my buddy Ivan Bragness. And this is the Horseman version 2. And this is M390. And there's Ivan's logo on here. And that is a way cool knife. It's a way cool knife. It really is. 
And I don't trust the drop either because uh, that flipper tab disappears pretty quick past the thumb. But I mean, it is thin. It's fairly light for as big as it is. So is that real M390? I mean, who knows anything about crystal knives, right? Well, yeah, it is. Uh, it's real M390. And here, read them and weep. Of course, almost 20% chromium, 4% vanadium, bing, bang, boom. Definitely not 8CR. Okay. Okay, next. Ooh, this one's kind of the dog, isn't it? Because have you ever seen this shape before? Can we think Asher Knives uh, Sentry? C-E-N-T-R-I. Go on Asher Knives. Look up the Sentry. Look at this knife. You tell me, right? But Asher Knives is uh, S35. This one's D2, and this I got on Amazon. I was shocked. I saw this on Amazon. I think another viewer brought my attention to it. And I go, what the hell? I mean, this, I mean, I got it because I thought it was just an absolute dead ringer. And then I went to Asher Knives and said, you know, check this out. What the hell's going on? Um, but uh, I won't give you the rest of that exchange. But I will tell you, yeah, it's real D2. I mean, th that can be part of the problem. You need to pick your your manufacturer very carefully make sure they've got a lot of ethics because who knows if this got passed off or just duped by the same manufacturer i don't know okay because the early asher knives we found out were not s35 they were 8cr and he lost his mind and he went back to them and they made it right and all the knives going forward and he replaced all the blades of the old ones but come on man so yeah, it was, he got jacked, and uh, so he straightened things out, thank God. Now, yeah, here's, here's the, uh, the vanadium. Um, also, the chromium is right there around 12. You know, it's 11.5 to 12.2, whatever, normally. But, that, yeah, it's real D2. Strange. And, yeah, that's... So you go to China to have it made, and then they... Yeah steal the damn thing from you okay next petrified fish okay this does not flip well okay this is just basically nothing more than oh where the hell oh i know um this is a double detent dog and then also a bottle opener and this makes a really bad bottle opener or at least as far as i'm concerned it don't work that well as a bottle opener but it comes with a chain. You can hang it around your neck. You look some badass fishbone, baby. But is that really M3? And in my the famous words of good old Joe, come on, man. Can that be M390? And yes, Joe, it is. It's real. We're not lying. Um, yeah, 4% vanadium. And there you go. There's your chromium at 20%. Bang, bang. And read them and weep. But I... I mean, I said, I got to check this. I've never seen a petrified fish knife in M390, and I really doubt that it is. Okay. So far, I haven't found a, a petrified fish knife that was not as advertised steel-wise. So that's good. And they're really cool. And you can get them at White Mountain Knives now. So you can get them from a USA dealer, as well as on Amazon now as well. But you can get them at White Mountain and use that 10% discount code LTK to get 10% off. Okay, next, this one here. And this one is a petrified fish. This is the 989 in Bowler K110, but check that out. That kind of almost looks like raindrop Damascus, but it's, you know, carbon fiber. Titanium pocket clip. They even put a little lanyard on there. So, and I did a video on this one, I think. Yeah, Bowler K110. Okay, so is it really for real Bowler K110? Which is basically D2, right? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, um, read them in a week. There you go. Vanadium level's almost 0.8. And then chromium, yeah, a little lower than 12, isn't it? But you know, D2 is a semi-stainless, not a full stainless. Okay, next, we've got the Shielden Bazookan. Bazookan. So Shielden knives are new, and you can get them at White Mountain Knives as well. And I actually did a video 
you know, Zoom uh, chat with the, the head marketing director in China about Shielden and what, what they were trying to accomplish and this and that. So and that guy used to work at Kaiser. So, you know, keep that in mind. But these are interesting knives and of course they're budget knives. They're not expensive knives, but they're sitting there saying they're D2. And are they really D2? I mean, this is definitely a brand you got to check, right? And yes, they are. Okay. Or this one is. And uh, vanadium 0.644 and then chromium right at 12%. Read them and weep. Pause and click. Whatever. Um, oh, then the next one is these uh, Sativian knives. I think they're way cool. And oh, oh, oh. What I was going to do is recently, and I guess that yeah, Sativian, they don't say it on this box here, but Sativian is now out with D2 and Micarta, contoured Micarta, in like an axis lock, okay? And uh, $26.99 on Amazon. Is that crazy? Um, that's, that's insane, okay? So, I did a video on that too, the, the 109 and the 110, and I think that's the, uh, right there, that's the 110. Okay, but these I had tested before, okay, and one of them is the 101, one's the, uh, this is the 101, this is the 102, and I really like this, don't you? I like that design, I mean, that's just really nice. That's a good size knife though. But they drop nice. I did a video on these. Ooh, that's way good e drop right there. Boom. Okay, so are they real? Well, I sent them both in for testing. So here's the ST101. Yes, it's D2. There you go. Vanadium, chromium, read them and weep, pause and click or screenshot, whatever you want to do. And here's the 102 which is a great looking design. I like it. Yes, it's real D2. Here you go again, identical chemistry there or elementals on that. So that's great. I mean, it's fun, isn't it? To be able to know somebody that can test these that also has a metallurgy degree, right? And has the testing gun and they can do this so they can tell you. I mean, it's just fascinating. Oh, here comes the dog. Wow. Check this out. This is a ratcheting knife by Six Leaf. Okay, Six Leaf. I should write that on here. But this is the way this box came. I mean, just totally plain, like the inside of an old, old vintage uh, Tucson knife box type thing. So, and, and, um, oh God, who is it? In uh, Chad in Kansas turned me on to these. Uh, he had bought one. And it was like they'd been up on eBay selling them on auction for like months. And I finally, he turned me on to it and I go, oh my God, I got to get one. So uh, this is a Harvey Lynn slash, I mean, Harvey Lynn is Rattlesnake Designs. And so this is his design. But it says M390. I bought this damn thing for 47 bucks, okay? Ain't no way this is titanium and M390, correct? But I was wrong. It is real M390. How insane is that? Check this out. Yeah, it's it's ratcheting and it won't open. It's got play in there. It won't open in the middle and it won't open this way, but it'll open this way. And then you click, click to close it. Strange, huh? But you can actually flip it open. It's real M390. Fascinating, I and mean, you can buy them on AliExpress now for 125, but I haven't seen any on eBay recently that you could bid on. But here's the elementals. Yes, it's real M390, and check it out. There you go, 20% chromium, 4% vanadium. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't no 440C, I'll guarantee you that. Yeah, it's, it's M390. So how insane is that? 40, who, who can buy that for $47? That's insane. Of course, the guy probably was losing his ass so bad that, you know, he just diverted it all over to AliExpress. Now, hundred and a quarter. 
I think, 100 and a quarter, 115, something like that for them. But still, might be might be interesting to own, um, regardless. It's just a hell of a nice design. I like it. So, eh, yeah, each to his own. All right, that wraps it up for us. And at the very end, we throw the summary out here so you can screenshot it. Can you screenshot this? Okay, batch 41 test results. Here you go. All the way down to the bottom. And the six leaf ratchet. Okay, so how about sideways? Can you make it that way? Okay, then you can screenshot it like that if you want. So just for your records, in case you're, you ever look back and go, I can't remember if anybody ever tested. Well, then you can look and see. All right, I'll leave you to your own. Love them knives here. This is batch 41 in the books, but we got batch 42 and 43 in play. It should be interesting. And I'm fascinated by this. I, th I think it's great. And I want to know. I, I want to know, you know, whether I'm getting lied to or not. And you know what? This has been pretty damn good news here. So you guys, stay sharp, my friends.